Hello and welcome back to Stud Studios. Today I will be reviewing the Harry Potter Defense Against the Dark Arts Classroom Book. Now I don't know much about Harry Potter because um, I myself prefer Lord of the Rings. <laughs> But I'm going to t try to review it nonetheless. <laughs> Alright, so let's open up the box here. The thumb pushers. Inside there is a few pieces that are not in bags. Two being the book cover. And take it, that's going to be the spine. We have two a sticker sheet that's pretty large one and an instruction booklet so let's build Alright, I've finished. Let's start with the figure. It didn't break. Alright, first up we have... Who is this? Hermione Granger. <laughs> Sorry, my apologies. I don't know Harry Potter. It's just a set we had lying around, so I thought, why not we do a review on it? So, here we go. She has the short, movable legs, which is nice. I'm pretty sure this is what started the those, this series. Am I right, Joshua? Uh, Harry Potter itself started those, yeah. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. I like the wand pieces. They're good for, uh, detailed stuff besides just wand pieces. The hair is nice. It's quite long for the height of her character. It's about this, almost over half the size of her. A nice hairpiece, I will say. She does have a, she has a smirk on one side and kind of a, I don't know what you'd call that, but on the other side, kind of somewhat frustrated. And she just has a Hogwarts or Gryffindor uh, jacket on. Next up we have Nively. Neville. Neville Longbottom. <laughs> Again, sorry, I have no experience with Harry Potter. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same figure. I think, yeah, he also has a double-sided face. Pretty common hair piece. Uh, yeah, one side looks kind of surprised. The other side, the big tooth grin. I'd say toothy, but it looks like just one tooth, almost. Okay, and the last figure is this spider. Just kidding, it's whoever the heck this... Professor Moody. <laughs> okay, so he comes with a walking stick. A, I actually kind of like this hair piece. He also looks like one eye is scarred and has a goggle on it. And he's holding a perfume bottle. Oh my I, goodness, I don't, I, <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's, it's, like a, potion. it's a potion. It's a potion bottle. It doesn't look like a potion bottle yeah, compared to... Yeah, it doesn't really look like okay. He's Professor Moody. He's, he's in charge of the potions. All right. And I don't, his legs are double molded, but one is molded in silver and the brownish, and one is dark brown and the brownish, which I think is nice. And then you can also uh, swap his hair around, and it comes with another hair piece, and it shows a face of someone who just saw that dinner was a nice steak. Or at least that's what it looks like to me. Joshua, is that is that not what it looks like yeah. to you? <laughs> yeah, it does. Alright, so that wraps it up for Judy Moody. Okay, next up we have the book. Which opens. There we go. Okay, so inside there's a desk. That ain't a desk. I am so sorry. That is a chalkboard. 
It doesn't come with any chalk, though. This can fold out to show some potions and what looks like a fan. It's probably not, but there's fans in a mirror there. Uh, a magnifying glass. You can take off the top and reveal a table with looks like an empty bottle. And I think this is where you put the spider. Sorry, I'm going off the image of the box here. Like I said, I know nothing about Harry Potter. Okay, I don't... There's a stud on the table for something. Over here, there's a book that says the dark mark with a picture of a skeleton and a skeleton head and something. And all, here's a table and a chest with a tiny person with a black leg. Sorry, don't know who that is, or the significance. On this side, there's more stickers of potions and a dragon head, looks like, and a painting of someone. And the middle can also fold out to show a fire. Um, more potion stickers. Yeah, there's a lot more potion stickers everywhere. Um, and also over here, there's a spot where you can put the book in. And, yeah, that about, yeah, that about sums it up for this. Um, yeah, so this is Stud Studios. Goodbye.